Okay, so um, now we're gonna talk about the third uh, button here, which is the mixture button. And this mixture button, it, it says that it generates tables and plots for mixture properties um, as a function of temperature and pressure. So this is gonna be very close to this. Um, it's, it's almost everything, uh, the same the same um, uh, warning, but it's it's different in the pure component, and this is in the mixture component. So you can do this for two, three, four components, and you, you're not gonna generate uh, x, y diagrams like what you, di you did here, but here you're gonna generate any diagrams for any physical properties or, or um, thermodynamic properties. So if we open this uh, mixture tab uh, or click on this mixture button, you would find this, which is is gonna be close to what we did in the um, uh, in the uh, 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 pure component analysis. Um, so here, uh, of course, you would expect some different things. So here you can find that the you have to enter the composition. So you can see that I'm interested in a mixture of ethanol, methanol, and water, for instance. Um, and I can ch choose if it's mass flow or mole flow. So if it's mole flow, it's gonna be like five. Um, I put any numbers, any random numbers, 500, uh, 120, 380, any number, and it automatically calculates uh, the number of moles. I'm, 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 it, it, if, if I put 200, it's gonna calculate the mole fractions. I'm sorry, it's calculating the mole fractions simply by dividing this by the the total. So it's gonna give this number. Um, and here you can see the manipulated variable before in the pure component we, could, we didn't have a lot of manipulated variables uh, but here because of the uh, presence of more than one component it gives more degrees of freedom and in this case you would find that you can change the temperature you can change the vapor fraction the mole flow the mole fraction all these um, variables here the standard volumetric flow the mass fraction the mass flow are um, uh, dependent on the presence of a mixture of components so you can have um, a transition from liquid to vapor with different compositions and that's why you can manipulate any of these variables let's keep it for temperature for now um, and again you can change it from 0 to 100 with the interval of 20 um, and um, this this is okay I can do this for uh, a pressure or more than one pressure I'm, I'm gonna keep it for one pressure now because the plot will be uh, busy so I'm not uh, interested in having it more uh, you know, more crowded with the plots um, and here is the last part is uh, what is the property that you're interested in in the pure component analysis we had a drop-down list which was actually here in the in this place and this drop-down list, it, uh, it, it said that um, you can change either its uh, thermodynamic property or flow property. Um, and um, you can choose the property th that you're interested in from that list. But here in the property report, you, can find any, you cannot find the same thing. It says available and selected. And it's clear that there are no properties here. So I have to create the property here. And to create the property, it, it creates what's called the property sets. Um, to understand what is the property set, you can go here. Uh, there is this this uh, tab here or uh, this folder here. It says property sets. And in this property sets, you put the, uh, the properties the, that you're interested in in um, a group that's called the property set so instead of telling me, uh, the the aspen plus um, give me the density the uh, internal energy or whatever the property that you, you want you're gonna put them here in in a property set and recall this property set there um, I don't know why it didn't work for the um, I think it, it didn't work for the pure component because there are properties that are not available for pure components like mixture properties which are not uh, available for pure components so what I'm gonna do is add a new property set either you do it from here or you do it from uh, here uh, it's gonna make the same thing it's gonna do the same thing so uh, I'm gonna go here for property sets add a new one and um, press, I'm gonna call it PS1 and I'm press OK. Um, you would find the properties here, it's, uh, it's a very long list of properties. Um, and it, it's not easy if you're, if you're not familiar with it, it's not gonna be easy for you to find the property that you are looking for. That's why it's easier for, for, you, for whoever is, is working on it to uh, use the search option here. So in the search button, you can search for the name. Uh, usually they have the uh, alias name or the uh, 
uh, short name uh, or abbrevi abbreviated name, <coughs> which is not um, usually uh, easy to, to figure out. So what I'm going to do is, for instance, to type the uh, density. I want to find how the density changes, so you can find different densities here, but the list is shorter now, so you can see the standard liquid density, uh, density of mixture, and this is uh, what I want, a density of pure component, mass density, um, uh, densities for petrol and uh, for liquid density, so I, I need the density of mixture. I can look for something else for a specific volume, or not specific volume, let's look for something new uh, for the enthalpy. Um, of mixture for instance so this is um, this is excess enthalpy I don't uh, or maybe it's mixture enthalpy let's see how he names it so he, he, there are, there is a shorter list but this is uh, mass ideal gas enthalpy volume enthalpy enthalpy flow um, uh, enthalpy of mixture so here it is he he would uh, Aspen Plus would would um, show this message which says that uh, if you have more than one physical properties, uh, there might be some uh, uh, kind of conflict between them. I, I I think this is in in very special cases, so I um, I'm, I'm I'm gonna do this now. Um, um, or, or it's not a conflict, I'm sorry, I, I did a mess, I, I said it uh, wrong. Um, what it says, it's gonna calculate all of them together, so if you're interested in one of them, uh, you are gonna get other data that may be kind of confusing, or uh, you, you, you don't need this data. So he recommends that you put uh, one property per property set. Uh, so if you want the enthalpy, so put it in a, in a separate property set. Um, and we can do this. Well, we can do this. For instance, I can uh, I can add uh, one more uh, property set and call it enthalpy. For instance, and in this I'm gonna pick the H mixture. This is the enthalpy of mixture, I think. Yeah, and uh, that's all. So I have two property sets, and this is good to try. Um, by the way, we have all the analysis that we did for binary, for the mixture, for pure components are available here, but they're not lost. You can at any time go here and uh, check the, the results. Oh, I, I, oh, I clicked on the run analysis by mistake, but anyways, it's saved. So you can find all the results here for the uh, binary mixture that we did before. Um, we can find the results here. So it's... it's um, I think for yeah it's it's available you can you can always uh, you can always find the results um, for some reason he needs to run it one more time so I'm gonna do it for him um, anyway so let's let's go back to the mixture so we have now uh, oops we, we to the mixture we have now uh, oh I think I added some property sets by mistake um, Anyway, so uh, this, this is good that we did this mistake. This is the density. This is the... Uh, oh, I think they're all property sets. So, uh, I'm, okay, so, so it's good to, to have this. I can, I can delete the property set if I'm not interested in it anymore. Uh, so I have it here. I have property set 3. And um, we can now go to the binary inter or to the mixture. And... Um, move them from here to here to from the available to selected so it's the enthalpy the ps1 and we can run analysis so it's going to do the calculations for this mixture for these temperatures at this pressure um, and here i can see um, he uh, he put a plot uh, for the um, let's see um, Um, let's see what we have here. So uh, we have only for the enthalpy of mixing plot. Um, this is the one he he plotted, and and we see that this is the liquid phase, and it's getting higher, higher. The enthalpy increases, and this is the huge jump is because of the changing from liquid phase to vapor phase. So this is actually the difference between these two points is the latent heat of vaporization. So I can uh, now know two information. I can know the latent heat of vaporization. And I know the temperature of the starting of evaporation, which is the bubble point, and I know the dew point is 77.5.
um, so, or, or it's 80. So it's it's a good piece of information to know. Um, and, and this is one thing I'm, uh, I'm like I, I urge people to do is to get as many information uh, as possible. Um, you can uh, you can go back to the results to have to see the other plots. Um, I'm not interested in the binary anymore. Um, I need the mixture, and these are the results. And here you can see um, different plots, and you can do the custom um, to select what is the x-axis. I wanted the pressure. Um, no, I mean the uh, yeah the temperature, and for the y-axis, it is the um, I don't know why he didn't do the um, the density. Maybe the PS1 something is wrong with PS1 or the enthalpy. Um, I have oh he did the enthalpy for both. I did a mistake. I'm sorry. So let's go for the row of mixture. And repeat the run. So um, it's 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 good that I noticed this. Um, I'm gonna go for the mixture and do the run. So so he he already calculated the same thing twice. So um, that's why he didn't um, plot the two uh, data sets. <coughs> so he should now be plotting the density. And here is it it it's it, it's great. Uh, you can see now this is <coughs> the other way. The density is high and it gets lower lower as the temperature increases until it reaches the bubble point and the drastic decrease in the density because the liquid density is way higher than the vapor density one more thing that we can uh, keep in mind that we have two axes now we have the axes or two y axes one for the density and one for the enthalpy and for the density we can know that the green one is the density so this is red on this axis and this is uh, the blue line is red on the um, the left y axis. Um, <clears throat> so you have the freedom to do as many. Um, uh, I'm sorry. You can have you have the freedom to do as many physical properties as you want, um, and you get as many information as possible. Again, um, you can see here from the results the um, enthalpy. You have the density, and you can. Um, calculate the uh, we can see here the big jump in the enthalpy of the mixture um, and, and and from this you can get the uh, latent heat which is the difference between these two numbers um, so uh, I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video inshallah goodbye